Hey, I'm Kylan and we are back for another color grading tutorial today inside of DaVinci Resolve Studio. And today I wanna to show you exactly how I take my wedding work from this to this. So please stick around and let me show you exactly how I did it. I have a clip in front of me here from last year, uh, just some wedding work I wanted to show you today. And I specifically chose this clip um, because it is more of a backlit shot and just want to show you how I would grade this versus something that is front lit because it is a little bit different how to kind of retain that contrast in those uh, those colors. Uh, you're going to see this is shot on the Blackmagic uh, 6K Pro. I primarily use that for all my wedding work and this is out in the Pacific Northwest. I'm Portland based so uh, what's up to anybody that's out in uh, Portland or close by me but uh, let's uh, let's get this started. So uh, same, we got our node structure here at the top. I'm just gonna go through it really quick because I do go over it a little bit more in depth on some other tutorials, but uh, first node, we have our noise reduction, so NR, uh, but then we're then gonna go to our primaries and just use some primary adjustments. Any uh, adjustment that we need to make as far as white balance, that sort of thing is gonna be in the third node. Uh, we have our HSL here and I already have a LUT apply just for some minor hue, saturation, and luminance adjustments, nothing crazy. Then once everything is color corrected, we're finally gonna go to our look and actually color grade the image. Apply a little bit of sharpening at the end, uh, maybe add a little bit of glow, and then our color space transform. So you can see here, we got Black Magic, Video Gen 5, Input Gamma Film, Rec 709, Gamma 2.4, pretty standard stuff, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into this here. So we're gonna start off with our primaries, all right? so. Uh, first thing we're going to do is, you know, we're going to start off with some contrast. Now, I did preface that this is a little bit more backlit or than than usual. So because of that, you're going to see down here that I'm actually going to be cranking this contrast a little bit more than I normally would. Usually I find like 1.5 to 1.2 is a good spot, but I'm going to push this probably up to about almost close to 1.3, but you can still see here again, what am I looking at? Looking at the skin, right? So if I push this more, you can see it really starts to break and there's, it just, it, it just looks too dirty. It's too dark, right? We don't, we don't really want it that much. So I feel like about 1.7, good, good spot to start. We're then going to adjust our pivot here. So I'm going to kind of shift where that contrast is applied. And this is a really interesting shot as well because you can see white balance wise, we're looking pretty, pretty good, but we don't have a lot of room at the bottom. I kind of underexposed this um, a little bit. I wish I would have done a, a little bit more, but uh, I'm gonna show you how I will actually adjust it in the primaries here. So we're gonna go back over uh, to our primaries and I'm gonna bring this mid-tone detail down just uh, a little bit. We'll probably put about minus 28, minus 30 and then we're gonna crank our saturation up. And again, we're gonna do a little bit more than maybe we normally would just so it's easier to see the colors as a whole, what's going on in the image, what's going on in my shadows, that sort of thing. So it's, it's easier to correct uh, problem areas, all right? Now we're gonna go into our actual primary, so the lift, gamma, and gain, and I'm gonna start doing the dance, okay? So with this clip specifically, I'm gonna start actually lifting, or I'm not gonna touch the gamma as much, and it's gonna be more in the gain, okay? And you'll see why here in a second. So I'm gonna put this up just a little bit, and I'm gonna start bringing my lift down, and of course I'm watching the scopes here to see if I'm not clipping, but I want this image to be a little bit more poppy. Okay, so you see right about there. Now, a problem you run into is that I want to get a little bit more darkness to it, but without clipping my blacks. And a great quick way to do it that I personally like is actually adjusting the shadows down here because the shadows is gonna bring that darkness down, but it's not actually going to adjust the black point of uh, the image. So you can see here down in the scopes, I'm not, um, I'm not clipping, but I'm just bringing a little bit more darkness there to get that punch. And then I'm gonna go back to my gain and then just lift this up ever so slightly. And I, I really like where we're at so far. And look, just in the first note, I mean, we did a couple of things and this already looks great to start here, okay? Now, 
Going into the adjustments here, this is where I usually I adjust my white balance. Again, if you can adjust, if you are shooting in raw, adjust it through the camera raw settings because again, it's a non-destructive way of doing it. Rather than doing it in temperature and tint, you already have that information in the file, use it, okay? So here I can see that this dress is a little, it's, it's, it's really blue. Like for me, I, I'm not really a huge fan and I, I wanna overall, I think, just warm this image up and just give it more of that sunset sort of vibe. So I'm gonna really crank up the temperature here um, probably to about there. So it's about 8,000. Kelvin right now, and then we're gonna adjust the, the the tint is pretty much spot on. I think we'll leave it probably right about there. And that looks good for me. Um, I really like where we're sitting at there and that really helped kind of fill in that blue. And hopefully this shows you just even through, granted we're not pulling a lot of keys or anything like that, but just through some of these quick global adjustments, I mean, you can get so far with an image in just a few steps and it looks great and it already looks super clean. We haven't applied any sort of noise reduction on it yet. And this is also a backlit shot. And look at, I mean, just look at how much detail we're retaining. This is great. So um, the, the fourth node, just a little hue, saturation, luminance adjustment there, nothing crazy. And now overall, I think we're ready to do our look, okay? So I'm gonna start here with the gain. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna bring this down. It's what I love doing with my wedding work. I'm gonna bring it kind of down towards the, um, the teal area down here, and then I'm gonna push it up towards the magenta to help kind of sell this sunset vibe a little bit. It's very subtle, but nothing crazy. And then I'm gonna take my gamma, I'm gonna warm this up even a little bit more. I'm kind of gonna go a little bit more than maybe I normally would just to really just give that, that strong sunset vibe. And then I'm gonna go back to my gain, and I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. And you know, sometimes you might you might push it a little bit too far and that's okay. Like I, let me, let me disable this. So it's pretty subtle, but I can see some changes here. I like where we're at. And then let me experiment with the, uh, the lift here and see where at. So I, I think I'd, I wanna push this down more towards the greenish area, green, blue, kind of fill it in. Ooh, I like that. Very subtle. I don't know if you really see this on YouTube with the compression, but nothing crazy as far as the look. It just kind of gives a little bit more of a, uh, just a night, just, I don't know, just balances out a little bit. I like it, I like it. So here we're gonna apply some sharpening. If you don't wanna sharpen, uh, great global adjusting, use just the radius, bring this down a couple points, nothing crazy overall, sharpens the image. And then uh, I think on this one, definitely wanna use some glow. So we have the glowing image, um, and then the, the, the secret sauce is the soft light. So under the comp, um, composition type, just make sure you have soft light selected. And then the shrine, uh, shine threshold, if I could talk, I should be at zero. And then we're gonna take our, uh, go, let me turn that note on, that would probably help, right? And then we're gonna start, so if I really crank it, obviously that's way too much, but right, there it really helps just like sell the effect and a little bit like on her her dress there it's so subtle but it just gives it a little bit more pop up here which i i personally love like i mean this is looking great and then our final note just a cst so uh we're gonna go back to our first note here and you can see the one thing about black magic especially the 6k pro is it has a lot of um Kind of that digital noise you can see here and the rocks and stuff so when i do turn this noise reduction on it's really going to clean that up i mean you can see i mean look at how much it i don't know how much you can see on youtube but it really did a good job there and then um you can see my settings here April noise reduction um again nothing crazy about five and then the chroma we're gonna bring up to about 12 here in the spatial threshold all right um, so let me zoom, zoom out here and look at that. So let me do full screen here. And this is, this is our, this is our image, yo. I mean, I, I really like it. I really like it. So before, after, look at that, look at that. Um, 
So would love to know your comments in the the thoughts below, what you thought of this tutorial. I would also love um, if, you, I'm just all about helping out. Like I, I genuinely love color grading, um, just talking about the wedding space uh, in general. So if, if there is a shot that maybe you would like me to grade like on this channel, I am totally open to it. So if there's like a, a Sony like A7S three shot or a Panasonic shot that you have a grade and maybe like you're like stuck. I'm like, man, I can't really get a clean image out of it. Um, I'm seriously open. If you want to send it to me, I would love a chance to grade it here, like live on the channel and just to bring more value and uh, benefit to you all. I think that would be fun. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Um, if you are liking this content and want to see more or have any ideas of what you'd like to see on the channel in the future, please let me know. Um, of course, shameless plug, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. But uh, hey, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you soon.